Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. Hello. And this is the Vox uh, Classic Wawa, the V845. It's Vox's new sort of entry-level Wawa pedal um, based on the same circuit as their original uh, Clyde Wah. Uh, it's a very simple pedal. Um, and it's available right now for about 50 bucks with, uh, with a rebate, a $30 mail-in rebate making it a pretty excellent uh, choice for a, a first wah or just a, you know, a low cost wah, that sounds pretty good. Now this wah is hardwire bypass, not true bypass, which means that you know, when it is uh, in, in line with the rest of your pedals, it does suck tone a little bit. Uh, right now we're playing a, a Mexican Telecaster. So let's listen to our tone with the Vox in line. And now uh, with the Vox out of the signal chain, Try a different pickup setting. Let's choose the neck pickup. So you can hear quite a quite a tonal difference. That's common in wah pedals, um, especially wah pedals in this price range. So uh, can't can't really look at it that as a as a con of this pedal. Um, it's just, uh, it's an issue that is there. Let's just compare this guy tonally to this crybaby I've got over here. Um, just do a simple clean wiki wiki pattern. So I think that the crybaby has uh, a little bit more um, sort of girth. You can hear more resonance in the lower end of the sweep. Uh, let's compare that low end resonance again to the Vox. So the Vox is definitely still present in the low end, it's just um, maybe a bit more nasally in the top uh, when it's clean as compared to the Crybaby. Now let's listen to this pedal pushing some distortion, some uh, tube amp distortion. Uh, we've got this guy hooked up in front of a Blackstar HT Studio 20. Now let's listen to the cry, baby. Now let's just compare the two pedals pushing um, a distortion box. Confronted with a distortion pedal or another effects pedal, uh, WAS often also introduce a problem of load buffering um, and without getting into the science of that, because I probably can't explain it very clearly. Um, basically you can, uh, there, there are a number of mods on the market where you can attach uh, an active output buffer or install an output buffer in your WAH, including the Vox WAH. And that'll basically help the pedal cut through uh, in a, an effects box. It basically ends up being less signal loss and more definition. But uh, let's listen to what this, uh, what it sounds like in front of this box just stuck. <laughs> So 
So for the last part of our video, we've got a, an Epiphone dot uh, humbucker equipped hollow body guitar. Uh, just uh, so we can hear the difference in the clean tone and, and, uh, and how a humbucker would behave with the Vox uh, V845. So you can hear that the crybaby is a little bit buttery, uh, and the Vox is a little bit more aggressively voiced, uh, in my opinion. Probably making it better as uh, metal or hard rock wah, as opposed to like a psychedelic or classic rock wah. Although, hey, who are we to restrict your creativity through categorization? We're GearWire, and thanks for watching us. And I'm Ona Malley. Take care.